It's been a few weeks since I've done a beer review, not counting Zima, and I wanted to assure you it's not because I've stopped drinking. I SD carded this about a month ago and figured it was time to finish it because, believe it or not, people have been asking for beer reviews. Okay, I wouldn't believe it either. I needed hard drive space. Today's beer that I drank a month ago is Saison Dupont, said apparently in a French accent. A Belgian Saison, according to Beer Advocate's indisputable beer definitions, has a fruity, horsey, goaty, and other leather-like aromas. Mmm, someone doesn't like Saisons. At least they didn't say scroty or cummy. I guess. The bottle liner notes read as such. Brewed at one of Europe's last farmhouse breweries, we swear to God. Saison Dupont is a four-star out of five classic example of a Belgian Saison-style beer. Blonde in color with a big rocky head. You like rocks, right? Saison Dupont is dry and refreshing, like a line of cocaine on a beautiful autumn day. And if you don't think so, you can go to hell. So let's pour. It has a hazy, faded, leathery orange with a creamy off-white head, sort of horsey. The foam slowly dissipates after several minutes and you notice some yeast has settled to the bottom of the glass. You are standing in an open field west of a white house. Think of a denser blue moon, but for assholes. That's right, I'm an asshole but at least I don't drink Blue Moon. As the foam settles, you get a mound in the center as the sides get thin. And while this settles for a second, let me address what I like in my favorite beers, as these reviews mostly contain funny faces and the beer at hand. When I lived in Missouri, they had a pretty cool, sorry, dope chain of beer and wine stores called Friar Tux. Friar Tux has a pretty big selection of normal microbrews, but an expanded selection of bottle conditioned European beers. I discovered I like a lot of small batch Belgians and farmhouse ales there, and those are my favorite types of beer. While I love plenty of porters and stouts and other dark beers, in my Belgians I generally like the lighter varieties that favor hops to malts. So less of the Chimay's and more of these. But don't let the color fool you though, because even the lighter Chimay's like the Sixth Sense are still plenty malty. Initially in the smell you get a sweetness that gives way to goaty malts, as my face clearly shows. There's some hints of fruits, mainly citrus. Sorry, I can't be more specific on which citrus fruits. Maybe a touch of vanilla. That's not a citrus fruit, but you really have to get into the sniff to smell those. Like a big, deep sniff. Like, think you're a shitty YouTuber. Let's taste it delicately. The mouthfeel is light, carbonation, after you've let it settle. Much to the disappointment of people who watch these videos in general, I pour hard and fast. I like a lot of carbonation to be expelled on the pour, otherwise I just drink it from the fucking bottle. I mean, I have drank it from the bottle, I'm not above it, but let's talk about the taste. It's bitter, with some light, sour undercurrents in the aftertaste. I think I prefer bitterness in beers, maybe a little more than sours, and this one is bitter, with some yeasty notes on the tongue after the bitterness subsides. There's some characteristic of fruit rinds too, and it's what I like out of a Belgian beer. It's not exactly like the Orval, Orvel, whatever it's called as the Orvel seems a bit more complex, but in the same vein. You know, the horsey one. Le Saison Dupont is a pretty easy to get Belgian. I've been able to find it in quite a few states, even drunken ones. It's one of my more favorites, although I do get the impression people aren't into Saisons, if Beer Advocate is any indication. I like them better than the vinegary sours or the dark triples like Chimay's. Anyway, if you like this sort of review, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up, comment, does my hair look greasy today? Why doesn't my beard grow in thicker? I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I don't know, but you can donate to my Patreon so I can afford tea supplements and shampoo. Thanks for watching.